Hi and welcome to our channel. What I want to show you in part 1 is how to design a brick fill and connectors for this chemical lace design. Before we can start working out the design, we have to construct the outlines. Easy with ProLace due to its powerful and tailor-made construction tools. In the design phase we can work out each embroidery object individually. The embroidery order will be defined later when we are punching the design. Each embroidery object contains real stitches which later can be taken over by the puncher. The puncher just has to add underlay, machine commands and walking stitches to connect the individual objects. I start with the brick fill. First I have to design the boundary of the fill area inside of the blood stitch object. Therefore I use the parallel command. With the lengthen command I extend the boundary to cover the whole fill area. Fancy fills can be constructed with the rotate Geflecht command using the module option. I select the brick C6 module define a size of 2.5 mm, a minimum size of 2 mm, then a width of the module of 3.5 mm. Number of layers I change to 2. In this case the system creates first an underlay and returns with a module. In the main menu I define a density of 5 mm, which are actually two rows, and an angle of 90 degree, which is perpendicular to the pattern. Now I can already select the boundary and draw the first inclination line and the last one. Next I design the connectors between the two blood stitches. I use the parallel command to construct the boundaries inside of the blood stitch. and the lengthen command to extend the connector legs. Connectors can be designed with the wiggle command. With connect activated is it possible to solve all the complex situations. In our case I use the straight option which enables you to design all connectors in one single step. Select the two boundary edges change to select direction lines and not design them. Now I can select the previously extended direction lines and build. On the right side the number of connectors is not the same. 
This problem can be solved easily by changing the density of the connectors after the center direction line. I continue with the connectors above the net. They can also be constructed with the wiggle command, but first I have to extend the lower boundary. I use the parallel command to construct the section of the circle. And next I join the two segments. Now I can already launch the wiggle command. This time I use the option select guidelines. Select all the connectors. And at last the boundary. In the same way I can construct the face on. Now only the connectors in the lower part are missing. Also they can be designed with the wiggle command. First I have to draw the boundaries. Next I extend the direction curves. And finally I launch the wiggle command. Select the option poly arcs. Select the two boundaries. And finally the two legs. Now only the rays down to the dots are missing. But also here I have to construct the lower boundary first. Then I join the segment. Mirror them to the left side. And join all together. Now I launch the wiggle command, select guidelines, select the rays first, and finally the boundary. Now the net and connectors are ready and I can refresh the repeat. In the second part I will show how to design the underlay and decorative stitches.